previous chapter, we had seen how we could create a container and we could create a blob via Terraform. Now, maybe when you are trying to apply the file yourself, you might get an error. Now, why would you actually get an error when you try to apply a configuration file that creates a container and then uploads a blob? So what are the steps when you want to upload a blob? So I said, first, you need to have the container in place and then you have to add the blob. So in order to upload a blob, there is a dependency. The container needs to be present. And similarly, the container has a dependency on the storage account because the storage account needs to be present. So there are dependencies in place. Now, when you look at your configuration file, so here I have first the storage account, I have the container, and then I have the creation of the blob. Now, just because I have given it in this particular format, in this order, it does not guarantee that Terraform will execute these commands in this particular order. So since we already have the stored account in place in Azure, we don't have an issue, but we never had the container in place, neither did we have the storage blob. Now I said there is no guarantee that this operation is going to be performed first and this operation is going to be performed next. In order to ensure that you have a proper dependency you can actually use the depends condition also in your resource definition in the resource block. So for every resource here, you can add a depends on reference as well. So you can tell that this resource is dependent upon another resource. And only if that resource is present, then go ahead and deploy this particular resource. So this, remember, is dependent on the container. You need to have the storage container in place. Now here, how are we referencing our container resource in this Terraform configuration file? It is the resource type dot the resource name. So if you scroll on top, this is our resource type and this is our resource name. So now we can reference resources within our Terraform configuration file via the use of resource type dot resource name. So now there is a clear dependency between our resources. So always has a good convention. If you know there is a dependency between resources, ensure to have the depends on clause in place.